yesterday, I guess, at some point, everybody was uh, bringing it to our attention. I think they actually did during the show that uh, McLuhan had been tweeting. He had opened up a new account. And I think his uh, his wife had somewhat, to the best of your ability to verify something like that, it kind of indicated that that was him. Uh, Steinberg kind of summarized some of the tweets there. And it's great. He was just kind of going through a Q&A. People ask questions. I like the draft even without him. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, I guess I could go through some of these. You want me to go through some of these, Jason? Yeah. Uh, Where is he living now? Don't know. I'm not sure. But didn't he it's pack up class. his he's ass not, and move not, out of here? He's not local. There was right? definitely so. a picture of his just packed to the gills U-Haul. I don't. I can't yeah. remember how long ago it was. Right, right. Uh, can Swearinger solve the free safety woes the Skins have had for years? McLuhan, yes. Do you expect Sue Cravens to make a big uh, jump? Year two. Oh, yeah. Yes. Playing safety. Of course. He Do you project fat, uh, Fabian Moreau to be a good starting quarterback? He will be. He can be a starter down the line sooner rather than later. What are your thoughts on Ryan Anderson? Good football player. <laughs> uh, you <laughs> say only, negative things about anybody. Player he really does. His go-to. Who's your proudest signing slash draft pick during your time with the Skins? Sheriff Crowder. Got to be Crowder. Sean Jarrett. And Matt is going to be a stud. He He's still high on the Matt Jones bandwagon. Ryan Anderson this year. He's taking credit for Ryan Anderson. Um, let me see. You still believe in Matt? Matt Jones, that is. Uh, seems like the Skins have given up on him. I believe in Matt big time. What? Come on. He blew us the game against Detroit. There's 60 minutes in a game. What do you see in Matt Jones? Big body, good feet, good hands, speed, and instinct. He's like fifth on the depth chart. Thought, well, he, you know, he fell out of he favor. He may make an impact on another team. but It I, doesn't I would mean guess. he sucks. He just fell out of favor. Yeah. Thoughts on Terrell Pryor? Well, he ain't good. I had him placed as the number one free agent. Is Kirk a top 10 quarterback? Scott McLuhan, yes. <laughs> Where did you have Jonathan Allen on your board? Top five. How difficult was it passing up Leonard Williams in 2015? Tough, but I made the right decision. Will Nate Sudfeld be a future starter? <laughs> He's less enthusiastic about this one. 50-50. That's about as negative as he gets. Right. Uh, thoughts on Zach Brown? I like him. Uh, can you see Jonathan Allen win Defensive Rookie of the Year? There's a chance. How fo- how? This is the one I loved. How closely did a team follow your draft slash free this offseason? To a T, except for one pick. Mm. I'd love to know who that one pick is, but to a T. Free agent signings, he had Terrell Pryor number one on his board, and his draft, he said all of them followed his board except for one. Well, no wonder he's high on all this player. <laughs> right. What player all guys. He selected? What player on the skins uh, that gets talked about the least do you think will have the, the biggest impact? Spencer Long. If the skins lineup you created this year is half the one you created in Seattle, we should win playoff games. He said, correct, but the schedule is tough. And then here's the big one. Would you come back? Yes, if the situation was right. That means if Bruce Allen was struck out or something. Yeah. Yeah. You don't care about the tobacco, Uh, Copenhagen or Grizzly? (laughs) Yeah, he says Copenhagen hands down. I mean, whatever, if you're into that. Yeah. Uh, Yuck. um, I I thought it was a fascinating little exchange, and it it sounds like him. Uh, I don't know. Interesting. It's so funny. They follow his his board to a T, according yeah. to him. Well, yeah, I believe him. He also said, I, you know, that was also sort of the rumor before they picked him up that they were just, they were buying his guides, mm-hmm. right? <laughs> right, and following his picks. Then They'll probably too. buy them this off season if he puts <laughs> one out. So great. Why wouldn't they? So great. I mean, that makes sense. They're all scouting the same people. Yeah, I mean, he put in here. all the work, didn't all the due diligence. Yeah, I mean, he was doing all that stuff last year. Yeah, I guess the surprising thing to me is he still believes in Matt Jones. Now, that Matt Jones is his pick. So. <laughs> this guy, and listen, let's be and honest. I think Matt Jones has talent. Yeah, Matt Jones doesn't stink. He just, he just they couldn't rely on him. The fumbling, you know, and a lot of guys have go through fumbling issues and then figure it out, you know. Well, you probably see him play tonight. You might. He I still a lot think, of carries tonight. I still think he could get, he'll get cut if everybody stays healthy, but that doesn't mean he can't play. Um, anyway, uh, fascinating little exchange. Steinberg uh, wrote about it. If you want to follow it, just Google sports ball. So the guys it. who are absolutely out tonight were, let's see, Doxon, Crowder. There's six guys Kendall sure. Thompson was one. I think Fabian Moreau was Moreau, another one. Nicholson, and then Reed. Reed, yeah. Yeah. But you still you get your first chance to see Jonathan Allen. Did, first did, Jay, to see did Jay talk yesterday? Did, did he have any sort of a presser? They talk about starters playing, how long they would play, that type of thing. I, it, we'll go I through didn't that. hear it yesterday. We'll go through some of that at 7. Mm-hmm. We'll hit the scans officially. Wasn't it off day? 
Oh, so it he, was. Didn't, he didn't talk at all. Didn't we? And didn't we play that uh, yesterday? His his plan about how? Yeah, he's, I was just wondering. He if was just a guy. Well, yeah, he had yeah. said he was going to sleep on it. The last I heard, he was going to sleep on it. Hadn't decided. And the game is in Baltimore, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. That'd be at a, at a good stadium. A lot of purple camouflage will be out in Baltimore tonight, Valdez. Yeah. Valdez, you excited for the game tonight? Um, really? <laughs> what about all these guests that we have on? And you're poo pooing them. You're doing your best, Lou Holtz, and they're all saying, "Oh yeah, they could win nine to ten games." We one, had several guests. One game, or one one guess? No, no, Evan several. Washburn. No, Billick. Billick also was high on them. I don't. I don't think they're really in tune with the team like I am. <laughs> they're probably not. I mean, they're not as plugged in, right? You one lose. You lose say. your. You lose your number one wide receiver who you've had a connection with. You lose your two starting tight ends. Uh, your. You lose one of your RBs. Yeah, you lose your starting running back. Your center retires. 